Project Media TV, your home of national and international news, the latest of the latest that you would like to know. Here it is before you get it anywhere else. Um, today's biggest story, we have the U.S. President-elect Joe Biden gets vaccine live on TV. Before we get deep into that, before we give you the full detail of all that you need to know, you need to hit that subscription button and turn on your notifications so that you're notified every time we upload a video. Um, so on Sunday, 20th of December, President-elect Joe Biden received his first dose of PFIZA COVID-19 vaccine. Uh, he's, he did this, he volunteered to do this, just like any other volunteer or any other humanitarian would love to do. And he said, he said he was getting the job to show Americans it was safe to take. Uh, Joe Biden joins a growing number of political leaders getting the job, including the Vice President Mike Pence and House Speaker Nancy Pelosi. More than 500,000 Americans are said to have been vaccinated. This is such a good job. This is a great job. We know earlier the start of the spread of the of the COVID-19 disease. Yeah, America was one of the places or one of the nations, one of the countries or one of the places where we had the COVID-19 circulate more in the people. And this would be a great idea for the president-elect, Joe Biden, to be seen taking the vaccine because this would demonstrate to the people, the rest of the people, that this is safe to take. And this is for the betterment of their health individually, even not including the president. As a person, as an individual, this would be safe for you in terms of your health. Um, Joe Biden, the president of, the Ameri of America, Father added, I'm doing this to demonstrate that people should be prepared when it's available to take the vaccine. Mr. Biden said from the New York Declare where he got the job live on TV. There is nothing to worry about. I think the president-elect Joe, Joe Biden is trying to make people firm or make people confident or feel better about the vaccine because not everyone is going to just wake up one day and take up the vaccine. This poses very many health issues or risks if I can say it to the people because some people would prefer to first get the disease and maybe then be sure I can take the vaccine. Obviously you need to take the vaccine before you get the disease, that's what it's supposed to be. But people would rather first get the disease and see if the effects, because I'm not sure if the effects of the vaccine are going to be more than the ones I'll get from the disease, because I'm not sure. It could mutate in my cells, I'm not sure. So it could cause cancer, I don't know. So I would rather wait and see if I can get that. So people would rather take the medicine or first get that and just run into the vaccine. That's why it's so important for the president as a big figure to influence other people to take the vaccine by doing such a voluntary activity. Um, I think the Americans should be happy or should applaud the president for doing that. Uh, he added that Trump's administration deserves some credit for launching the country's vaccine program. This is a form of appreciation to his administration before because we know that President Joe Biden has just been elected after the current elections have gone through. But before it was the cabinet or the administration of Trump that was running this whole process of getting the vaccine. Uh, the Biden team has set a goal of 10 million COVID vaccinations in the US during the administration's first 100 days in the White House. This is such, I don't know, such a human, I can call it a voluntary activity or I don't know what exactly to phrase it with, but. This is not done by everyone or every president or every influential person in the country. It's people with a big heart, the people that feel the need for people to be protected that can actually come up to risk their lives and make it possible for other people to do this. Um, president Donald Trump, we all know, has been affected by COVID-19, which he even did believe was a uh, a disease that existed or a disease that was real, but if I can call it unlucky or unfortunate, President Donald Trump, who spent three days in hospital with a coronavirus, has not said anything of when he intends to get the vaccine. So shocking. We should all expect President Trump to have been the first person to actually get the vaccine and show the people the need to take the vaccine. But that's not what it's like. We are seeing instead that President-elect Joe Biden being the first person to, sh to publicly get the vaccine and show people that it's important for them to get the vaccine. Um, Donald Trump's father went on 13th December and tweeted that 
he's not scheduled to take the vaccine but he looks forward to doing that at the appropriate time we don't know what the appropriate time means to him but well it's his life so we can't be concerned more he it's his life so we can't take a bigger part uh, play a bigger role in his life we'd rather do that for ourselves yeah and some of his advisors his advisors i mean president donald trump have defended that delay saying he's still protected by the treatments he received to beat the virus i hope so i hope that lasts longer than it's up that longer than it's supposed to be uh, going away from that or further from that, uh, the COVID vaccine we all know it has not circulated or moved around to different areas or different or to, to circulate to even the deepest areas where people are so vulnerable, where people are poor, if I can say that. People can't afford to buy the vaccine or anything. So for, for first, for the phases, it has been distributed into three different phases. For the first phase, it's called 1A. It's going to be for the health workers, the elderly Americans living with long-term care facilities, living in long-term care facilities. I think for the health workers, it's because of the people that are on the front line in fighting against the COVID-19. So it means that the people who are who are exposed mostly because they are dealing with the patients directly so they need to get the vaccine faster and for the elderly i think these are people who are immunosuppressed the people that do the immune system is down they can't easily fight the vac the covid19 disease so that means they need to get the vaccine earlier before they are affected and then the other phase is the phase 1b here we have individuals aged 75 and older in addition to frontline workers uh, those working in education sector, public transit, manufacturing of goods and agriculture. Basically here these are people that are involved in the food industry because we all need to eat and these people cannot stop processing the food. And since in countries like America people depend on processed food majorly, these people need to continue running or doing whatever they are doing doesn't have to stop. And these people get into contact with each other. We can't be sure where you've touched or whatever. The protection can't be 100%. So these people need to get the vaccine earlier uh, and for the people 75 and older also these are people that are aging the people that are immunosuppressed the people that are more susceptible to the disease they need to get the vaccine day earlier uh, in the third phase we have individuals aged 65 and older those with underlying medical conditions that increase the risk of severe illness from COVID-19 and other essential and frontline workers. Yeah, 65 and above, that's also an old age. Then the people with the underlying medical conditions, this could be people with cancer, could be people with other chronic diseases, high blood pressure. So this people also need to get the vaccine earlier. And then other workers, we can't... Okay, the people that are not in the front line, like the health workers, these people also need to get the vaccine because they are exposed. They are people that are working. They interact with so many people. They do services that we need so they can't stop. So these people need to get the vaccine. Um, that's basically about what the shocking news, how the president of the elects, President Joe Biden, was able to get the vaccine live on TV, which is not done by everyone. We know some presidents have even allowed their countries to operate, saying there is no COVID-19 in their countries. But a president like John, Donald, like um, Joe Biden, to come up and take the vaccine, it shows, I don't know, this is way beyond, it's beyond humanity, I don't know. It's such an act that not everyone can do, and we are so appreciative for that. Uh, I want you to comment and leave a message. I don't know what you think. Would you take the vaccine, regardless of how you don't know its effects, maybe in the future, what if it mutates, or what if it gets cancer, or... Are you sure you can put up with that or you 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 are ready to put up with the risks and maybe imagine that they do not exist uh are you ready to take the vaccine are you ready as an individual as a person are you ready to risk even when we are not sure because you have not seen so many people doing it for your health not getting a disease regardless of if you have a chronic disease or if you are immunosuppressed or if you are aged, are you ready to take the vaccine? You can leave that in a comment, share with us. And let's know what you think and what you feel about the president of America taking, up, taking the vaccine live on TV. You can like, you can share this video and your suggestions are welcome about anything you would like to know about the COVID-19 vaccine and in relation to Joe Biden, the president-elect of America. Thank you. You can subscribe and hit the notification button so that you are notified every time we upload. Thank you so much, Bridge and Media TV.